Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Marlissa, if you're new here, today we are unboxing this month's July Ipsy. I literally just received my Ipsy this morning, so I knew I had to run out here, get ready real quick, and get this video up for you guys. Before we get started, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And we're just going to begin with the glam bag. This month's theme is Passport to Glow. Very summery. And we're going to dive right in here. So it looks like we have a My Refreshments bag. It's different. So it looks like we have our five products that are usually in the glam bag in this bag. I'm wondering if this is the glam bag of the month. First we have this Bare Minerals product. This is their Complexion Rescue Blonzer. So it's a blush and bronzer cream mixed together. That's really, really cool. And this is the shade Kiss of Mauve. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you guys. It's a cute little mini. Looks pretty, uh, pretty dark. I don't know. Maybe it's going to blend really nice. Oh yeah. And I definitely did a little too much there. I feel like with a lot of blending, it could be really pretty. Our next product that we have here is Frank Body. This is their Glycolic Body Scrub. We have a little makeup brush, it looks like. This is from the brand Neen. This is their brush number two. It's double-sided. So it looks like we have a blending side. It actually kind of ruined the bristles by being in that little plastic bag. So both sides are a little wonky, but I'll still give it a try. And then we have this Eight Saints Up the Ante. This is anti-aging night cream. I love the blue bottle. And it has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and peptides in it. So it's kind of like an all-over cream. So I'm excited to give that a try. And our last product in here is Alice and James Skincare Co. Their Watermelon Dream All-in-One Eye Cream. So I have to sample this because anytime I see something that has a watermelon, I have to smell it. Oh, and it feels really, really nice. The texture is really nice, but it kind of smells like a cheap watermelon scent. But it is vegan, cruelty-free, and it says natural on here. Um, so I will probably give this a try and see if I love it or hate it. And that is all in what I believe to be is the glam bag. And now we're going to jump into the boxy term. This is where it gets extra exciting. So first we have a UHD brow sculpt. And this is from the brand Live. So it comes with like a little spoolie, I think they're called. And as you can see, it's just like a clear brow gel. I've been in desperate need of some of this and I was actually going to be making a run to Ulta Beauty and grabbing the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, but I'm going to give this a try. Let me know if you guys have tried this one before. Up next we have a perfect product for summer. This is from Innisfree and it's their Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. It is an SPF of 36 and it claims to have no white cast. So I'm really excited to give this one a try. And I've only heard good things about this sunscreen. I haven't tried this one before and I'm really surprised I haven't because I've tried tons and tons of sunscreen. So I'm excited about this one. It actually has green tea and sunflower seed oil that helps protect your skin against the UVB rays and UVA rays. So we're going to see what kind of dewy glow this gives and see how it compares to other sunscreens. Our next product here is, gosh, I just love this brand. Everything I've ever tried from them is such a good product. This is from Il Maquillage, and this is their Black Card Lift Curl and Lengthen Mascara. I actually am a big fan of this already. I've used it several times. I love the little brush here. Just a really great mascara. And then we have a perfume. This is Fenty 
and it looks very luxurious. I'm gonna smell it and see how I like the scent. I'm very weird about perfumes. I will probably be giving this to a friend because it's not quite a scent for me. It's not florally or anything like that, but it has some kind of like, I don't know, like an old scent that I would smell going into department stores. I don't know how to explain it, but not a fan of this one. And for our last product here, we have a Laura Geller eyeshadow palette. This is her Seasonless Staples Wildflower Wishes. So this does have 14 different shades of eyeshadow colors. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys what this palette looks like. It looks really pretty just from the box, the little like preview colors here. Definitely giving that sunflower field aesthetic. So here's the little outside packaging and then here are the really pretty shades. There's a great mix of shimmers and mattes in this palette, and I will definitely be giving this a try this summer. I'm just going to swatch a couple of the shades. One of the shimmers here. They're very pigmented. Now I'm going to try one of the matte shades. And they're pretty pigmented, like I said. So this will be a fun palette to play with this summer. And then I also forgot to show they um, also sent over this little ad in the boxy charm, and it just kind of gives like a little brief overview of some of the products that you receive in your box. And that is all for this month's unboxing. Let me know your thoughts below. I think um, I think that there have been other better boxes this year. This wasn't personally a favorite of mine. There was a couple favorite products that I have used previously that we got in this box this month, but overall, it's not my favorite box. But let me know your thoughts below in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.